This video will be a quick introduction to Mosaic, how to start a job, how to lay out a simple wall, place cabinets from the library, use the autofill feature, and check your parts. To start a new job, simply click File, New, give your job a name and number, call this 01, start here. Once you've started your job, simply click Room, Wall, we're going to change the length of the wall to 60. Now we have a 60 inch wall. We're going to click Products and in the Product Library we're going to click Tall Cabinets and the tall cabinet with a pair of doors. Place it on the left side of the wall. Now we're going to select Autofill. We're going to fill the room with custom cabinets and the other cabinets will be filled in. If we click our elevation button, now we can see we have a 30 inch tall cabinet, a 30 inch base cabinet, and a 30 inch wall cabinet. Before we begin customizing the job, let's look at some of the icons you have available to you. This is your SketchUp icon, which will launch the current view in SketchUp. This is your floor plan icon, which will move you between plan and elevation. This is the delete button, undo, snapping. If you have snapping turned off, you'll be able to overlap items in the design. Snapping is normally turned on, which prevents cabinets from being overlapped. And you can also zoom and pan. Once we click a cabinet, all of the information at the bottom of the screen now relates that cabinet to the wall and the job. So you can see the positioning. This particular cabinet has a zero clearance left and right, a 45 inch center from the left, a 15 inch center from the right, and it's positioned 30 inches from the left and zero inches from the right. It's currently 30 inches wide, 34 and a half high, 24 deep. And then in the middle of the screen, you have your select item drop down menu, which allows you to select various items in the design. Those can also be selected by simply clicking on them with the mouse. Your edit button will actually launch the product editor. The 3D button will view the individual item in SketchUp. The SketchUp icon will preview the entire view that you currently have on screen. Your 3D button will view only the current item in SketchUp. With the base cabinet selected, let's right click and you can see your right click menu gives you an opportunity to edit the cabinet, which is the same as pressing the edit button. You can copy the cabinet. You can view it in 3D, which is the same as clicking the 3D button. You can rehinge. Also have that available to us here. We can delete the item. We can also view the properties, which gives us the sizing information, the stretching properties. All autofill cabinets will automatically be able to be stretched to any desired size. Cabinets pulled from the library may have limits. If you're unable to stretch or resize an item, you can quickly check the properties to see what those are set to. And you also have the ability to modify the end properties of a cabinet. So we can change the left or right end of this cabinet to a different shape. We can extend it if it's a corner situation. Now let's quickly look at modifying the cabinet. So again with the base cabinet highlighted by clicking on it, we'll select the edit button. We mentioned the stretching properties earlier in the property dialog. Here's where you would change those. Zero settings makes your stretching property unlimited. Now let's simply select the face tab of this cabinet. We're going to select this opening by clicking on it. And then we're going to split that again horizontally which will turn that from a door drawer to a stack of drawers. We're going to click on the interior tab. We're going to clear that out. Place the mouse in the opening. Click the left button to highlight it. Place a vertical divider or partition. It centers in the opening automatically. I can now have it lock to one side of the style or the other. Center on that style and I'll place a shelf here by highlighting this opening. Simply place the mouse there, click the left button, place the shelf. You can hold your left button down to drag the shelf into place. 
or you can click the opening and enter the dimension for the height. All of your interior and exterior parts have overrides. Simply click on the part and adjust the part. As you can see, I can quickly change the depth of that shelf by six inches. You can further edit your parts by simply clicking the part, selecting the edit button, and you can change the shape of the part or the CNC operations associated with each part. We'll get into that more in our training videos at a later time. Now let's view this product in SketchUp by simply selecting the View Product button. Notice we can view the product in a presentation drawing, a shop drawing, and even in high detail. So we'll select our presentation drawing, click OK. And now we can see our cabinet here in SketchUp. Some of the menus that you will take advantage of in SketchUp, first of all, you have your Styles menu. So if we go to the Window and Styles, this will allow us to quickly change from our simple style that you will initially be viewing in to a hidden line view, which will very quickly change you from a filled with color view to a hidden line view, which is great for your shop drawings. So we simply change the view tab here. And simply go to window styles to select a different style. One of the menus that you will use is your layer views. So we want to make sure that we've turned on the layers. And then you can simply click to hide things like the doors, for example. We can turn the doors off. We can turn the drawer boxes off. Let's look at making a couple of other modifications to this job. We'll click OK to exit this cabinet. And let's select the tall cabinet. Select the Edit button. The Face View. And I know in order for the mid rail of the tall cabinet to align with the bottom rail of my uppers, I need this opening to be 48 inches. So I'll simply click here and change the height of that opening to 48. Click OK. Now I'll look at this in an elevation view. Now I've got uh, those aligned. And again, if I select SketchUp from this view and view a shop drawing, now we can see we have our upper cabinet bottom rail and our pantry mid rail aligned. And again, we can go into our styles menu and we can change this to a hidden line view. We can go to layers and we can turn off various layers like the labels, for example, the wall dimensions and so forth. To customize the system and modify how your cabinets are built and displayed, we simply go to the libraries and customize each library for your application. If we want to change the construction parameters, we simply click Parameters and then select each category and fill them out according to the way you build your cabinets. For example, in the face view, we may have a different top rail style width and so forth. To customize your settings in a job, we simply select the Settings tab. When we initially started this job, we bypassed the Settings tab purposely so that we could come back and explain it to you at this point. The Settings tab is where you select your doors, your materials that you're using on the job if you have the manufacturing system. You select your uh, textures or how the cabinets will be displayed as well as all of your accessory items and your room settings. To change a setting for the job, we simply click on it. The menu will appear and we select the new texture. And to modify the materials that the job is constructed out of, we simply change the material template. If you have the manufacturing system, we can change that here by selecting a new template. If you have the design system, your materials are going to default to the default materials template and you can make your changes here. Now let's select the products tab again. 
and look at this in elevation. If you're using the manufacturing system, this is the test job we recommend that you use to verify your cutting list to start things off. You go to the libraries, set up your materials, modify your parameters, create this job, and then you can select your cut list tab to verify the parts for uh, the cabinets or you can select each cabinet and you can look at the cut list under the parts tab for the individual cabinet. Once you have your parts customized for the three cabinet test job then your cutting list is going to be accurate in most situations. Uh, any specialty items or situations that arise the parts can be easily overridden. For further explanation on the various aspects of the program simply select help and training videos the Mosaic Help Cloud will be launched and you'll be taken immediately to the video tab where you will find training movies on a wide variety of, of subjects. The Help Cloud also consists of product forums as well as a knowledge base. We would recommend that you start here with the Getting Started videos which will give you a, a further explanation on creating jobs, designing rooms, and placing and shaping cabinets. And we also have the Google SketchUp help site as well. Also in the help menu and the about section, this is where you put your shop name by simply typing in the shop name here. Your shop email address. Your authorization code. Your user ID is also displayed here. Once your shop name has been changed, it will display on uh, the opening screen as well as your documentation. And it's very simple to build your countertops by simply selecting the Tops tab. Click Auto Build to build your countertops, which are automatically built to fit the cabinets. To build your molding, we simply click on the Molding tab and we Auto Build the molding, which again is automatically built to fit the shape of the cabinet. You also have your order entry tab and your pricing tab, uh, again, as well as the cutting list. Reference your help and training videos, again, to get additional training on each of the tabs and the various other aspects of the software.